Welcome to How to Install RoboLinux Versions 7 and 8 video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy and fast it is to install our modern Linux operating system in just a few minutes, which includes the entire operating system, all its software programs, and updates too. My name is John Martinson and I'm the founder of RoboLinux. You can call me Robo, everyone else does. The RoboLinux installer requires no technical expertise whatsoever. Literally all you need to know is your first and last name, a username, a password, your language, your country, and time zone, and that's all. You will see that the rest of the installer questions require you to only press the enter key. In other words, the defaults are all you need unless you want to build a RAID array or something more exotic. For dual boot setups, the process is just as easy as what I'm going to demonstrate for you now. As you can see on our website, from the how to install menu option we also have a PDF file for both regular installs and dual boot you can download and print as chances are you will not have internet access during your install process so let's get started with installing RoboLinux as you can see I'm installing RoboLinux Cinnamon Raptor version 8.1 but this could be RoboLinux GNOME, KDE, XFCE, LXDE or MATE versions 7 or 8 so, first you take your RoboLinux DVD disk that you have already burned and load it into your DVD drive. We have easy DVD burning instructions on our How to Install webpage, by the way. Then reboot your PC. Once the disk begins loading, it will take less than 12 seconds for you to see the RoboLinux boot screen that you're looking at right now. You could run it live if you want to, but I'm going to show you the install today. So, to install it, you simply press your down arrow one time and select Install RoboLinux and press your Enter key on your keyboard. Select your language and press Continue. Select your location and press Continue. Select your keyboard configuration and press Continue. Installer components. In some cases, it will find a Wi-Fi um, if it's an open source Wi-Fi driver that you that you need. Um, if not, you do need to be plugged in. Um, here, you can select a host name. Press Continue and you're going to need to type in your name uh, that you want for your account and I'm going to type in my name John Martinson and press continue and I'm going to go ahead and just take John as my username for my account type in my password twice and now it's setting up the clock and you go ahead and pick your time zone looking for your disk drives and most people would just need to use guided use entire disk so that's what we're going to do today press enter it found my hard disk and, I've, and I just have to select finish partitioning and write changes to disk and now we're building and installing the operating system this should only take a few minutes um, so during this time I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, RoboLinux and what we have to offer. After you install RoboLinux on as many PCs or laptops as you want to, if you're like most people, you're going to want to run some of your Windows apps inside Linux. So RoboLinux invented Stealth VM and C Drive VM technology which allows you to install and run Microsoft Windows XP 7 or 10 inside RoboLinux, which makes Windows and its programs and data completely 100% immune to any virus or malware forever. If you've no Windows system disks, you can use our revolutionary C drive to VM support package to effortlessly clone your Windows C drive with all its programs and data and then install it in just one click right into RoboLinux using our Stealth VM software. The big bonus is you will never have to buy 
any more antivirus or anti-spyware software again. Stealth VM is revolutionary technology for Windows users. You can learn about C Drive to VM and Stealth VM on our website. And now it's asking for you to select a mirror and you do need to say yes, otherwise you won't be able to install uh, software programs and drivers. Of course, we do have a option in our administration or system menu where you can repair your Debian mirrors. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue to select mirrors. And this can take, um, you know, anywhere from a minute to, you know, a couple of minutes. It really depends on, you know, where you are geographically, how busy the mirror servers are. Um, and that's pretty much uh, going to dictate how long it takes for you to configure um, and build your mirrors into Robo Linux while it's installing. And the mirrors are finished and it's time to install the Grub bootloader onto your hard disk. And so I'm going to press continue. And here you can enter, this is new um, actually for version 8 only, you won't see this in version 7's enter device manually. Um, in my case I'm going to go ahead and hit the down arrow and just select my only hard drive. And it installs it to the first hard drive. We're just about finished. And I'm going to let it reboot. And it brings you to the login screen and you'll note that it found your username up here. Um, in some of our versions, you will have to hit the down arrow and select your username and simply enter your password and press enter. And of course, since we're running in VirtualBox, it's not going to use the rendering mode, but that's not a really big deal. You won't have that problem on a regular PC or laptop. I want to thank you for watching this RoboLinux video tutorial. I hope you have a great day and God bless you and your family.